guys and girls, Emma again, welcome back to the spare room. I made this boiler quite some time ago. A pretty little engine. And I made some equipment to test it and I made a video about that. The whole setup was kind of awful. The old cake tin that's since gone rusty. Uh, and a pump that sort of didn't really make the distance. And that was all on a wooden chopping board that sort of did the job. Now, I've got a few other boilers to, to test. If we have a look over there. It's kind of boiler city. So we need something that's a little bit more effective. So... I've made a start on that. So over the course of the week, this is what I've ended up with. Found a piece of 30mm plywood about the right size. And I folded up a bit of tin to mount the pressure gauge on and I've drilled that and I've fitted that up. I'm going to use this standard which was used for testing this testing the Kenneth Wells boilers and it also be used for the other little horizontal boilers. I may have to think of something else to make the ver to test the vertical boiler yet. This is all pretty lousy. Uh, called in a favour and got a, a tank made, a decent tank. So what we need to do today is put the tank inside, put the pump inside the tank, plumb it to the gauge and plumb it to the plumb it through to this probably put some sort of a stopcock and another entry point in it and we'll see how we go first thing is to desolder this I'm going to go through this is probably one eighth or a bit smaller pipe I'm probably going to go through and plumb the lot in something a lot bigger and I'm going to probably remake some of these fittings. There's a little T there that's probably not too shabby, but we might drill the nuts out and make decent nipples for it and decent big pipe. We need to make a nipple for here and we need to make some sort of an attachment for the pump. We also need to make a base for the pump and probably another plunger and some more levers and things. So, bit of a job, but that's where it's all going together on. And I think that'll be a really good rig for, for testing boilers. So we need to make some nuts. It's pretty straightforward. This is just a bit of 7 16 um, 11 mil, something like that, hex. This is... I really enjoy making fittings. Uh, first job is to drill this through the diameter of the outside of the nipple, which I'm going to go with 6 mil. doing a few so I'll go a bit deeper. Next job's the tapping hole. Next job's at end mill, 7 mil deep or 7.1, something like that.
we'll just check to make sure we've got a square hole. Next job's the 3832 tap. making the same length as the last one. And rub with the file on the corners. Cut him off, start again. Nipples are easy, uh, they go on the end of the pipe, you don't know what they're for. Just like that, um, the silver soldered on, and the cone. They go on the end of the pipe, if you don't know what they're for, they're silver soldered on. The nut goes over the outside and pulls it into the cone on the fitting which we put in with the centre drill. So that keeps everything pressure tight. So they're pretty straightforward. You look at these and you think, gosh they're a complicated little fitting. They've got an angle on one side, they've got to be concentric, all that sort of stuff. The secret to making them concentric is to do them all in one, one operation. And this is the quickest and easiest way to do it. Find a bit of stock that's the right diameter, and this is 516, which is the size of our, or a fraction under the size of the end mill that we use to bottom out the, the nuts. Once we've got one that looks pretty good, we just need to find. Machine this down to six mil, which is the hole in the nut, and so that it looks somewhere near the same. They're at each end of the pipe, so it's not really all that critical. We set up a little set of calipers. just go over and of course we can check it in the nut fix that with a quick change tool holder this is pretty easy I've got a special tool for this which looks something like this it's a parting tool that's got a, an angle on it it's just a piece of high speed steel that's sharpen off to the same angle as the 60 degree centre drill on the end. And that parts him off. The job's done. So, without too many sort of delays or stops or anything I've cut this nut that we had on this pressure gauge off nice and neat and threaded it and I've made a T to go with with the taper in there to match the the nipple 
and to fit the that make sure they screw on nice and then they're nice and tight we'll solder the, the pipes in there I put that together with a bit of RTV special thanks to Greaser 5691 I think that's who suggested that I keep this in the fridge great idea this is still good three or four months on so I'm I'm on a win there it's going back in the fridge thanks for that so I guess the thing to do will be to put this back on the frame and I've soldered this pipe on here which is 3 16th bend this up I bolt it all in place and bend it up and we'll get the plumbing through to the gauge and we can start to look at messing around with the pump so yeah, as far as the pump goes I've just soldered this up um, cut a block of brass and squared both ends up in the shaper and cut another block and squared the end up in the shaper and soldered it together and then squared the top up and put a V in it in the shaper sat this on it so it's all nice and parallel this way and that way and run a a reamer through it. This is just a bronze bush that was part of the old pump so that's a nice joint there. I'm going to make a lever or a clevis that hooks on here and then a lever up the top with a clevis on the end of the ram. The ram really needs to be stainless steel and I've reamed this out to 12 millimeters because I've got a stack load of 12 millimeter O-rings. So that's probably the nicest and easiest way to do it. Big thanks to Jeff Dunn for this box of or bag of O-rings. He turned up at work with this bag of springs and O-rings, which over the period of time will be very, very useful. Um, copper washers in there, all sorts of junk. But I emptied them out in a box and went through them and found some O-rings that look like they're going to fit. So we're pretty happy about that. We can't really make a plunger to this because when I have a good look around all the junk um, and in the, the bar drawer I haven't got any 12 mil or half inch stainless steel so I've ordered some today and we'll get on to that as time goes on. This is the old end fitting which was just a Loctite press fit in the in the bush originally. It's loose now because I've run a reamer through it. It's got a seat in the top with a nut that screws down and stops the ball moving too much. And a fitting out here for the pipe. We're going to expand that so that this fitting fits which is quite a bit bigger and it's got a seat on this bottom nut with a slot in it to give it a bit of clearance and the piston coming back sucks the, the water up through this this ball and the piston going out pushes it against this ball out against the pressure because it can't go back out this way so a very very simple thing this pump I'm going to try and use these two nuts again and we'll make another body and use the two ball bearings that we had this needs to be screwed down and probably I'm just going to drill and tap this and put a couple of metal threads through with washers from underneath and uh, some RTV around the tank to hold it all in place. That's probably the best way to do that so that it doesn't come loose and leak and and make a mess and rot the wood out so forth so on. Anyway it's getting a bit late so I'm going to upload this video, we're going to call this part one. We've made a pretty good start, we've got some fittings and we've got a pump that's starting to look like a pump 
and we've got some idea of where we're going with it so more soon guys and girls thanks for watching be kind to each other check out my patreon series a new video up there tonight too um i've got a couple prepared a little bit further in front so that's an easy job just to, to publish one tonight off to the bash and I'm going to try and get another video out tomorrow with a competition update. But thanks for watching. Be kind to each other and leave a comment, like and subscribe. All that sort of stuff. More soon.